This demonstration shows how you can use the print item or location labels feature to enhance your business. This feature provides the ability to print item, location, and delivery labels using the template layout defined in Oracle BI Publisher. Alternatively, you can print item, location, and delivery labels using an external printing application. In this demonstration, I will show how to print labels using a mobile device while receiving and putting away goods. Now, let's go to the Receive Goods mobile page to receive items and then print labels at the end of the receipt. Select item labels under the print labels section to print item labels. Once the receipt is created, a separate page opens where you can enter the printer name, which will be used to print the labels. Enter the number of labels you want to print for each item. Once the print request is submitted, a scheduled process is submitted to generate the label report and send it to the selected printer. Now, let's go to the scheduled process work area to check the status of the process that was submitted. Select the label report in the output and delivery section to look at the label that was generated. Item labels are generated with the item name and description for all the items selected in the receipt. Now, let's go to the Put Away Goods mobile page to put away items and then print labels. Select the item labels under the print labels section if you want to print item label. Select the lot labels if you want to print item label with lot information. Select the serial labels if you want to print item label with serial information. Enter the printer name which will be used to print the labels. And enter the number of labels you want to print. Once the put away transaction is confirmed, a scheduled process is submitted to generate the label report and send it to the selected printer. Now, let's go to the scheduled process work area to check the status of the process that was submitted. Select the label report in the output and delivery section to look at the label that was generated. An item label is generated with the item name, description, and serial number. In this demo, I will show you how to print ad hoc item and location labels using the print inventory labels scheduled process. Let's go to the scheduled process work area to submit a label request. To print item labels, enter the label type as print item label. Then, enter the organization, item, lot, and serial information for which labels are printed. Then, enter the printer name used to print the labels.
the process is submitted. Now, let's go to the output to check the generated label. An item label is generated with the item name, description, lot number, and serial number. Now, let's submit a label request to print a location label. To print location labels, enter the label type as print location label. Then, enter the organization, sub-inventory, and locator information for which labels are printed. The request is submitted. Now, let's go to the output to check the generated label. A location label is generated with the subinventory and locator name. In this demonstration, I will show how to set the application to print labels using an external printing application. First, Let's enable the business event using the Manage Inventory Business Event Configurations task. The setup task is available in the Manufacturing and Supply Chain Materials Management offering. And in the Inventory Management functional area. Add a new row. Select Print Label for the Event Type field. For the event name, select print delivery label to generate an event when the delivery label is requested. Select print item label to generate an event when the item label is requested. Or select print location label to generate an event when the location label is requested. Once the event is set up, use Oracle Integration Cloud Service to listen to the print label request event. Here is the sample integration I created for the demo that listens to the print label request event. And then invokes the print label requests REST API to retrieve the print request details. Let's go to the scheduled process work area to submit a label request. The label request is submitted. Now, let's go back to the OIC to check the instance of the integration that was submitted. The instance of the integration completed successfully. Now, let's look at the payload. The payload has item, lot and serial number. This can be used to invoke the external printing application's web service to print labels. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.